So you're here because you want to improve your Steam Deck's performance and make it run any game at 60 frames per second. So let's get right to it. So this also works on SteamOS, but on this one, I'm going to do one on Windows. So let's go to Windows Settings app here and find the update and security. So click on update and security and here you need to find the recovery. It should be on the left menu here. If you click recovery, there should be advanced startup. What this does is gets you to the advanced menu where you can tweak the Steam Deck as you want. So let's go to the advanced startup and wait for it to load. This will take around a few seconds to load. So let's just wait for it to load. And after it's loaded, just go to troubleshoot. Um, in troubleshoot, you need to find advanced options. And to go to the boot menu, you need to go to EEFI firmware settings. So after your Steam Deck has booted up, you need to go to the bottom right one, use the D-pad to navigate, uh, open this one and just wait for it to load. And then you need to go to the one on the left where it says advanced. And then you need to scroll down to the one I'm going to select UMA buffer. So this one is normally set to one gigabyte on Windows. This will basically not allow your uh, VRAM to access more than one gigabyte of RAM. So what I need to do is basically set it to four. So I set it back to one just to show you and you need to set it back to four gigabytes there you will have the best performance you can ever have on your Steam Deck Windows and you need to go to the exit menu. So don't exit right away. Make sure you save the changing without exiting because sometimes it doesn't work really. So you need to save without exiting and then you exit with saving the changes and then you need to wait for it to reboot. After it's rebooted, it will give you the best performance you ever had in your Steam Deck. So that should do it. So to prove that this works, I'm going to show you how it works for FIFA. Uh, FIFA is very laggy when you run the game uh, without making these changes. So I'm going to show you a video of some other person who tried this FIFA. So thanks to this person, uh, credit to them in the description below. So let's show their gameplay before the changes and we compare it to the gameplay we have now after we made the changes. So here is this video. As you can see, the game starts really laggy. The game cannot really keep 60 frames per second. It's really annoying to play. I had this problem, so I had to look around and see what is the best solution for this. As you can see, it's really unplayable. And uh, thanks for his video. I left his channel in the description below. So let's look how the game runs after we made the changes. So I'm going to skip right ahead to the gameplay and you can see the frame rate. I have a frame rate uh, counter at the bottom that you will uh, be able to see as the game goes. So here is the game running on medium, locked to 60 frames per second. The frame rate doesn't really drop. Sometimes it goes to 59, but that really doesn't matter. Let's look at the frame rate here. As you can see here, it's locked to 60. Game, the gameplay is really smooth. There is no problem with the gameplay whatsoever, and you will enjoy it much more. This will work on other games as well, not just FIFA. So try it out for yourself and see how it works for other games. The frame rate will improve, I guarantee you. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like the channel, subscribe and peace.